National Park Service Arrowhead logo. Words read, Mount Rainier National Park. Sunrise on a mountain. Words read, Journey around the mountain, exploring Mount Rainier National Park. Welcome to Mount Rainier National Park. Covering almost 370 square miles, the park is home to not only iconic Mount Rainier, but thousands of acres of pristine wilderness made up of everything from subalpine meadows and old growth forests to glacier carved valleys and a volcanic peak. Whether you have a day or all summer to explore, every corner of the park has something amazing to discover. Map of Mount Rainier. We begin our exploration in the northwest corner of the park, home to the Carbon River and Mowich Lake. Carbon River is one of the best areas in the park to see the dynamic effects of water in shaping Mount Rainier. From the Carbon Glacier, the longest, deepest, and lowest elevation glacier in the park, to the Carbon River itself, water is a powerful sculpting force that continually changes this landscape. As one of the rainiest places in the park, the Carbon River area is home to a temperate rainforest. Learn about the plants and animals of this rainforest by following the easy, self-guided rainforest nature trail that begins near the Carbon River entrance. People stand on a wood boardwalk and look at a wayside. Large green leaves, ferns, and dense forest covered in moss surrounds the boardwalk with delicate white flowers and a leafy plant covered in thorns. A person stands on a wood bridge over a creek. In 2006, a massive flood damaged much of the historic Carbon River Road. Now the road is closed to vehicles, but is open for bike riding and hiking. Pristine Mowich Lake, located not far from Carbon River, is open from July to October. A starting point for several popular hiking trails, Mowich Lake also has a backcountry campground. A woman walks along a gravel trail next to a large lake. Colorful wildflowers line the lake shore. A frog. The Nisqually entrance is located in the southwest corner of the park and serves as the historic gateway to the Longmire and Paradise areas of the park. West Side Road, a popular access point for hiking, branches off the main road not far from the entrance. Like the Carbon River Road, West Side Road has been shaped many times by flooding and debris flows. Evidence of these dynamic processes can be seen clearly along the road. As you continue the drive up to Longmire, pause at Couts Creek for one of the first views of the mountain visible in the park along this road. Or a little farther, walk the short Twin Firs Loop Trail for an introduction to the park's old growth forest. Sunlight glimmers around trees dusted in snow. Longmire was the first settlement in the park and is preserved as a National Historic Landmark District. The story of the park's early history can still be found along the Trail of the Shadows and the historic walking tour through Longmire. Volcanic mineral springs that supported the early Longmire settlement still bubble in the Longmire Meadow. The road itself from the Squally entrance up to Paradise is also part of the historic landmark district. Designed specifically to provide the best experience for visitors, the winding road dramatically reveals the mountain and its terrain, from glacier-carved valleys and lava ridges to waterfalls and old-growth forest. A waterfall surrounded by forest. Favorite stops between Longmire and Paradise include Christine and Narada Falls, or you can camp at Cougar Rock Campground. Photos of three different tent campsites. Many trails can be accessed from the road, with options to hike along glacial rivers and lava ridges, or to explore subalpine meadows. A man hikes a narrow trail surrounded by blue wildflowers. Paradise, well deserving of its name, is the most popular destination in the park. Home to the Paradise Inn and the Jackson Visitor Center, this area has many amenities for the first time visitor. In winter, the area remains open for snowshoeing, sledding, and other winter activities. In summer and fall, hike through subalpine meadows thick with wildflowers or fall foliage. As you leave Paradise, enjoy a drive down the Paradise Valley Road, a favorite route for viewing spring wildflowers or fall colors. Keep an eye out for birds, marmots, 
deer, bears, and other wildlife enjoying the valley. A marmot sits on a rock and scratches its chin, a map of Mount Rainier highlighting the southeast corner. The historic Stevens Canyon Road descends from the subalpine meadows at Paradise to the heart of the old growth forest found in the Ohanapakash area of the park. Like Paradise Valley Road, Stevens Canyon Road is a popular drive for viewing fall colors as well as ephemeral waterfalls in spring. As you drive along the canyon, don't forget to stop at some of the pullouts and look back for a magnificent view of Mount Rainier. Or make a day of it and hike one of the many trails along Stevens Canyon. Explore subalpine lakes such as Bench and Snow Lakes or Louise Lake. Hike the Pinnacle Peak Trail in the Tatouche Mountains, or follow part of the 93-mile Wonderland Trail that circles Mount Rainier. A trail leads through a meadow scattered with trees. A woman steps over roots along the trail. At Box Canyon, look over the side of an old stone bridge to view a deep, narrow fissure eroded in the rock by the muddy fork of the Cowlitz River before continuing on to the Grove of the Patriarchs. A river roars through a narrow canyon. A suspension bridge stretches over a calm river. The ancient trees that make up the grove reside on an island in the middle of the clear, snow-fed Ohanapakash River. With trees hundreds of years old, the Grove of the Patriarchs epitomizes the feeling of age and majesty associated with true old growth forest. A couple walks past huge trees on a boardwalk. The large tree trunks stretch upwards. Sunlight glimmers around a dark trunk and illuminates green leaves. Those looking to enjoy a longer hike through the area's old growth forest can take the East Side Trail, which branches off from the Grove of the Patriarchs Trail. At Ohanapakash, stop in the Visitor Center before exploring the Hot Springs Nature Trail. Camp beneath the canopy of the forest in the Ohanapakash Campground, or follow the trail leaving the campground to view the impressive Silver Falls. White water rushes over a rocky cliff, filling the air with water spray, a blue-green river. A map of Mount Rainier highlighting the northeast corner. Head north from Ohanapakash to reach the White River and Sunrise areas in the northeast corner of the park. Drive along a road surrounded by forest with views of rocky ridges and cliffs. Climbing up through forested valleys to mountain passes, the road north has many pullouts with spectacular views of the surrounding areas. Trails along the way lead to a historic fire lookout and connect to the famous Pacific Crest Trail, which crosses through the east side of the park. At Chinook Pass, walk across the historic Entrance Arch Walking Bridge or enjoy the lush wildflower displays that fill the subalpine meadows ringing Tipsu Lake. A woman walks along a trail through a wildflower meadow. People are reflected in the waters of a still lake surrounded by colorful flowers. A grasshopper jumps off a leaf. The White River area hosts the park's third campground and provides access to some of the park's east side trails such as Summerland and Owyhee Lakes. A still mountain lake. A favorite hike is the Emmons Moraine Trail, offering amazing views of the Emmons Glacier and Mount Rainier. A glacier-filled valley. The road from White River up to Sunrise is a journey through the geologic history of Mount Rainier. Starting in the White River Valley carved by Ice Age glaciers and shaped by volcanic mud flows, the Sunrise Road climbs past layers of lava and ash from past eruptions to reach the lava ridge upon which Sunrise is built. 
Sunrise Point features 360 degree views of not only Mount Rainier, but the surrounding Cascade Mountains. On clear days, you can see the volcanic peaks of Mount Adams and Mount Baker in the distance. Combined with the amazing views of the Emmons Glacier and Mount Rainier, Sunrise is another popular summer destination in the park. The Sunrise area is open from July to September. Located on the drier east side of Mount Rainier, subalpine meadows around Sunrise have a different character than areas that receive more rainfall, like Paradise. Hiking opportunities abound, with trails leading through subalpine meadows and along volcanic ridges. A river valley surrounded by forest leads to a glacier-covered mountain. Sharp rocky ridges flank the glacier. Where will your next Mount Rainier adventure take you? Will you stand at the foot of a glacier, gaze up at an ancient forest canopy, or surround yourself with wildflowers? Will you hike to a waterfall or relax next to a subalpine lake? Or will you stay for a while to enjoy the view? Plan your visit to Mount Rainier National Park by visiting the park website. A river flows down a valley underneath a mountain peak. Words read www.nps.gov slash mora. Thanks to Kevin Bacher, Mimi Gorman. Photo of Carbon Glacier, Lauren Lane. Music, Subtle Library by Fabian Measures. Divider by Chris Zabrinsky. Wash Your Feet by Marco Trovatello. Joke and Room with a View by Jazar. Videography and editing, Kristen Loving. National Park Service Arrowhead. Mount Rainier National Park.